morning, campers. How are we? Fine. Although Billy just had a colossal tantrum with the nanny. But hey, here we are. Yeah, sometimes it's a relief to actually get to work, right? Totally. At least the people we deal with are relatively sane. Ah, oh, there you are, Drew. I hope you are ready to apologise to poor Justine today. Most of them. You were way out of line, attacking her like that, when she nearly lost her daughter. Yeah, I know, oh, I know. poor woman was worried sick about her daughter, and he tells her she's a bad mother. Mm, I heard. Oh, bragging about it, were you? Just leave it, Mum. Yeah, OK, I went too far with Justine, and I need to apologise. Good idea. You're supposed to be on my side. Oh, I see. Trouble at home. Is that why I insulted poor Justine? Okay, Mum, just back off. Drew doesn't need you jumping down his throat as well. Thank you, Nick. Well, you're lucky that she's forgiven you already. She's a saint, that woman. Could have gone straight to the CEO. Back to your flowers, Mum, now. Yes, all right. But there's something to be said for true Christian values, Nicole. That much I know. Um, Harper, uh, is everything OK with you and Drew? Oh. Sorry, I don't really have time. Um, ED calls. <laughs> oh, Sandra, I wouldn't bother going out of your way to apologise for what you said to that godbotherer. She is out at the gate. And so is Leanne. She's even filling their coffers now, apparently. Oh, still, I wasn't exactly professional. And I don't even know where it came from, to be honest. Well, trust me, if you hadn't said it, I would have. Hey, Justine is entitled to her beliefs, as we all are. I just can't handle how these people think that prayers are more important than science and, and medicine. Drives me crazy. Even though it was pretty incredible, how uh, Cassie pulled through when it was so touch and go. Don't you start. Oh, here she is. Okay, play nice. More thoughts and prayers for Cassie, Leanne. I thought you already got your miracle. Oh, why stop at one? When we can save so many more poor souls. There's a bunch of bright shiners on their way now, as we speak. Uh, you are not running around this hospital preaching at our patients. Yeah, maybe not such a good idea, Leanne. We're not here to offer prayers this time. What now? Laying on of hands? Casting out the devil? We're not all dark and cold-hearted like you, Maeve. Some of us actually want to spread love and joy to others in need. Great, great. Go and bang your tambourines elsewhere, then. We won't be doing that today. Oh, boy, what now? My fellow friends at Brightshine saw the need and are here to donate blood. What? Hmm. They heard blood stocks are low after what happened to Cassie, so they all rallied to help. Well, good for you guys. Yeah, it is, isn't it? So put that in your little atheist pipe and smoke it. <clears throat> Better not let your auntie see you guys, Tilly. You'll be grounded for life. My auntie's cool, unlike your dad, Auntie Esther. She's like a prison guard or something. Can't keep you locked up there forever. Come rescue me. Bust down your auntie's door and chuck you over my shoulders. I can work with that. Hey, bro, how's it going? It's all right, I guess. What are you kids up to? Kids? Just because you dropped out of school and got a dumb computer job? It's not dumb. It's got way more responsibility now that Damon's gone too. How's your friend, the one who's in the accident? Cassie? I don't know. Mum won't let me see her. Thanks for a bad influence. Same here. Dad won't let me see Adipa. How come he's sitting here holding hands? Because love always finds a way. Ugh. Careful, Tills. Your dad will totally lose it if he finds out. But he's not here, is he? So, there's no problem. One more down, several to go, as soon as they've filled out their forms. <laughs> See, Nicole, this is what I call true Christian spirit. Selfless giving wherever it's needed. Oh, we can always do it with more blood, wherever it comes from. Yes, but this is the creme de la creme, straight from Brightshine. Oh, I wish I'd found them years ago. I really do. Oh, that's great, Mum. I'm, I'm really happy for you. Right, if you just want to wait in that chair over there, Madonna will do the rest. And it won't hurt a bit. Generosity like this deserves extra care. <laughs> well, they're just being good Christians doing their thing. <laughs> You'd understand that, Madonna. Unlike some. Oh, shut up, Leanne. Maeve. Well, see, there you go again, proving my point. Where does all this anger come from? Ah, uh, here's a hint. You. Pushing my buttons. I have done no such thing. I am here to help. But you, it's... Leanne, <laughs> why don't you see who's next? Yes, it'll be a pleasure. What are you doing? You don't want to know. Leave her alone. What? I don't know what your problem is, but I've had enough. She's my mother. Show some respect. 
OK, I think we need to do some bloods here just to see if anything else is going on. Sure. You just hang in there, OK? Those pain meds will kick in soon. Hey. It's no problem. The nanny just called saying one of us is supposed to be home by now. What? Well, she said she spoke to you earlier and told you she has to leave early because of an appointment. I don't remember that. Well, I can't go, so you're going to have to. Well, I can't go. I've still got a lot to do. Drew, I'm in charge down here and I'm covering for TK. And she wanted me to call Marty in on his day off. I wish you'd remember to tell me about this sooner. I could have done something about it. Hey, guys, do you want me to ask Mum if she can help with stuff? No, no, it's OK. I will sort it. Thank you. Is, is everything OK with you guys? Yeah, I'll we'll sort it. It's fine. Just things seem kind of tense. Yeah, I just want to get on with my job, you know? He should be able to figure that out without pestering me.